Hi everybody and welcome to the Mental Toughness and Body Show. My name is Rob Evans and I'm your weight loss coach, health strategist and internationally published author, helping take your life and your business, health, fitness, mindset and body from where you are right now to where it is that you truly want to be. Today I want to talk to you about how you're spending your time because we can't buy more time. We can't get the time back. And so I want to use an example of what I did last night. Very full on day yesterday. So today's Sunday at the time of recording is Sunday night. Yesterday afternoon I had to take my young daughter back to hospital again for the fourth admission. Uh, really unfortunate. Uh, but had to spend, uh, how long were we there for? About six and a half hours this time. So it wasn't a, a full 12 hours that we needed to spend normally to get admitted through uh, the emergency department. It was a little bit quieter yesterday. Um, so I was travelling home. I got home around 10pm, Saturday night. Now what are most people doing on a Saturday night? They're either maybe watching a movie or they're partying or something like that. So 10 o'clock, I had a, a coaching session with four people booked in the US at midnight through to 1.30am. Now do you think... Do you think after the day that I had, after a very, very stressful day uh, with my daughter, on a Saturday night at that time when I'm completely exhausted, that I want to stay up until 12 o'clock till 1.30 a.m. to uh, do some coaching when I could be sleeping? What's the easiest answer? Most people would be sleeping. But success doesn't have a clock, Okay. It doesn't matter what the clock says. If you want to build a successful life, a successful business, then sometimes it means you've got to go without sleep. Does it mean you have to be up at midnight every night? No. Is it hard to be up at midnight? Yeah, till 1.30 a.m. and be really switched on? Yeah, it can be sometimes, particularly given that that day I was up at 3 a.m. that morning and couldn't get back to sleep. And so got up, got on with my day, got a bunch of things done, Things didn't go to plan, had to take the daughter to hospital, spent the rest of the day there and night, came home, had a few hours where I was going to fill in before I did the coaching. So came home, had a bite to eat, had my shower, did a few hours work before the coaching session, got myself really in the zone and then managed to get through to 1.30am, great session, uh, learnt a lot. And I went to bed. Did I sleep well? You betcha. <laughs> I slept very well. But the point of this session here today is to get you to reflect on how you're spending your time. And if you do want to be absolutely successful in all these areas of your life, then maybe it's time to look at a couple of those areas and say, are you putting in enough time, enough focus time and energy into that particular aspect of your life? One of the areas where I can let things slide a little bit is my reading. I love my reading. I'm always reading some sort of self-improvement book uh, that's got action required in it and making sure that I'm taking the action. I feel that what has taken me from where I was a decade ago to where I am now is the consistent action that I've taken. And sometimes I take bigger steps in action than others, but it's every day looking for what's the action that I can be taking day, today to move my life forward or move that particular area of my life forward. So if I'm not reading and taking that action, I feel like I'm not progressing. I feel like I'm on that treadmill of life and not progressing that particular area of my life. So that's a bit of a red flag for me. That's one that I can have struggles with. For you, it might be something else. It might be your health, your wellness, it could be a particular area of your business, it might be you're stuck in a job that you don't really like and you're looking to create something else for yourself but you're just not putting in the time for it. So, oh, I'm just too tired to do that. Well, guess what? If you wanna be successful and move away from what you don't like and closer to, to what it is that you do like and move into a space where you absolutely love your life and every day you get up, you're excited about it and you can't wait to get started like me, then that means 
At some point, there's going to be a bunch of pain. At some point, there's going to be some sacrifice in terms of maybe it's watching a movie, maybe it's partying, maybe it's doing something else, time away from your family. But you know that in the long run, you can give that back because you're putting in so much into what it is that you truly want. And when you do that, that fills you up. And when you build up that success in your body and in your mindset and in your heart and soul, you know that you feel so much better as a person and therefore you can give more to others. When we don't do it, we're struggling and we're empty and we're negative and we're mean to others and we're mean to ourselves and we don't progress, we regress, we get depressed, we become overweight, we become less focused, we become unenergized and we become full of disease. Now, the disease could just be the... Uh, the depression and the negative, negative thoughts. But it's a downward spiral. So we need to change it. And sometimes that means even though, like me, last night, was really tired, had a really stressful day, but came home and was determined to do the coaching because I knew that there would be elements of it that would help me move to be more successful. And you know what? Sometimes it's just listening to a conversation of four or five highly motivated, successful people that just gets your juices flowing and get you excited about what it is that you're doing. It may not even be about what they're doing. It just gets you excited and passionate about what it is that you're doing. So I want you to have a look at where you can step up here. When was the last time you stayed up to 1.30 a.m. working on your dream, working on your passion, taking action. Not just thinking about it, but taking action. Maybe it's time to start doing that. Maybe it's time to start getting up at 4 a.m., 20 past four, like I did for many years. Uh, this year, I'm trying to get up a little bit later than that under the directions of my strength and conditioning coach, but some days I still get up that early. I need to because of uh, my schedule. That's when life changes. In those early hours of the morning when everybody else is sleeping, mostly, that's when success starts. Success does not have a clock. It doesn't. Success happens 24 seven. It's just where you choose to pick those hours where you're gonna be successful. And it's not like you can just say, today I'm unsuccessful, tomorrow I'm gonna to be successful if I do this 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, hour of work between nine and 10 a.m. That's not gonna be it. Great, if you're taking some action in that hour, then fantastic. But you've gotta do it consistently and you've gotta do it over and over and over. And sometimes it means it's, it's going to be when you don't feel like you can do anything anymore, where you don't have any energy, you're so tired. There's part of you that says, do you know what? I think I just need to rest and go to bed now. But the better part of you knows that success doesn't have a clock and that you've got to keep pushing, you've got to keep working. Because look at it this way, most people are not successful. What are most people doing between 12 a.m. and 1.30 a.m. on a Saturday? They're either partying or they're sleeping. What are you doing? You could be working on your dreams. You could be progressing your life forward. You could be making yourself more successful in multiple areas of your life. It's up to you, it's on you. So if you wanna connect with me, you can go to thementaltoughnessandbodyshow.com, opt in for that free consultation. Let's connect, let's make 2021 your best year yet, because it can be. Work hard, stay focused, success doesn't have a clock. Keep working, keep pushing, you'll get there. See you soon.